voting to allow women to marry dead soldiers killed in Ukraine. Russian women are set to be allowed to wed dead soldiers killed in the invasion of Ukraine so they can claim state benefits, according to Mirror Media Outlet. It is noted that draft laws by Vladimir Putin will end discrimination against unmarried couples where a soldier was mobilized and later slain in battle. By marrying the dead fighter, the war widow will be then able to claim the same state benefits for herself and their children as people who married before the war, worth around 5 million rubles. Putin said last year, we need to think about what to do with such women who do not have a marriage certificate with the killed man with their loved one with whom they lived together for some time. According to the Mirror, to qualify for the benefit, women will have to prove to a court they genuinely cohabited with the dead fighter before the war in a marriage-style relationship. The start of their cohabitation will be considered when they wed. The draft law states the fact of being in a marital-type relationship will be established in court as a marriage with details entered in the official state register of civil status records. Currently, the family of a dead fighter is paid cash as compensation for his death. If the mobilized man or soldier was married, this goes to his wife, otherwise it may go to his parents. Under the new system, a cohabitor will qualify for this sum and other benefits.